but now over to a man that rocks the kitchen <laughs> and a rock star of baking, the incredible Annabelle White. How are you? Oh, oh so good to see you. You know what? You and I should be dancing with the stars. Can mm. you imagine we could do a tango or Ooh. we could do a salsa or a Ooh. rumba? Ooh. Honestly, you'd be, you and I would be fantastic. I'd People, do. we would have a surge of electricity throughout the whole <laughs> country. Right. There would be. But you know what? I'm so excited today. I bring yes. my basket to see you. I know. You bought your basket last are. time. Yes, yes, because I think you should always travel on public transportation with a basket and a large container of maple syrup. <laughs> And the other thing is, because New Zealand always rains, we always want to make sure we've got a little coat in here as well. Yes. But I am going to show you the most Ooh. amazing thing, because I know that breakfast is something that you... Oh, maybe I should put this on you, darling. I'll push, put okay, this on you. Okay, you put it on me. Look, there we put it on you. Yeah. Now, we are going to make the most amazing buttermilk pancakes. You're mm -hmm. thinking, oh, okay. I know no, I all about... I oh, love pancakes. Mm -hmm. But wait, there's so much more, because I actually researched the whole pancake thing. Yes. Okay, you may think, oh, let's just throw a few dry ingredients Well, together. I was thinking that. But in actual fact, no, there's so much more to it. I'm going to give you a few little hidden gems. Mm. I'm going to transform pancakes into a stellar out-of-body experience. Oh, I love out-of-body experiences tips. with you. Yes, well, yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, you're not the first man who said that. But anyway, moving along, um, we are actually going to show this to you because I'm doing the I'm doing baking at the Wellington Food, food Show. show. Yes. Exactly. Nice. At the end of the week. And okay. it's exciting. Oh. Share the love. Sure, we will share everything very, very soon. So good to have you here. Mark's My finally got some help in the kitchen that he can actually use. Okay. <laughs> We'll get all of Annabelle's tips and tricks for these buttermilk pancakes a little later in the show. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen and to have you back on the show, Annabelle! Oh, hello there! Oh, yes, yes, I love this lady. Look, look, put the hob on, darling. Put, put the, the hob bacon. on? Okay, let's just crack into it. I like a man it. who comes in with the bacon and gets up the bacon. Oh, and yes. We need some good kiwi bacon for what we're going to do today. In well, terms we, what we're going are we to doing? Do, we are doing a pancake stack. Now before we go crazy, mm. let me explain to you right now that a pancake stack, there's a lot to making a great pancake. And I wake up sometimes 3, 4 o'clock in the morning at in bed, bolt upright, and I think to myself, research it, Google it, and I have done the research. <laughs> so you two guys do not have to sit upright and worry about your right. pancakes. Because you want sure to rise, yes. and you want them to be luscious, and mm. the secret, my friend, is the buttermilk. Oh, the buttermilk. So, should we get on? Should okay, yeah, no, I'll, so, look, I'll so walk darling, after the bacon. you're in charge of the bacon. Now, for Goodness sake, make sure, it. make sure it doesn't burn. Okay. But you just want it nicely lightly coloured because the bacon's going to give a lovely little bit of dynamic thing going on here. Nice. And you and right. I are going to We're get together here. Now, into the bowl, sweetheart, throw two cups of good quality flour. Now, don't be cheap on your flour, you want good quality flour. And a couple of tablespoons of sugar. And then we're going to add salt and we're going to add baking powder and we're going to add baking soda. Okay. And then I want you to stir that around, darling, with just giving a little bit of air. Okay, a little bit of air, but not too vigorous. Now, talking about getting vigorous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your buttermilk. Now, this, people think people think this is a fattening product. They think it's butter added to milk. It is not. It's right. a low-fat product. In the old oh, days, good. when your great-grandmother used to make butter in the butter churn, yes. this was the liquid left over from the ah, process. Ah, nice, butter and milk. the great yes. thing about it, and we need two cups of this, so I better hurry up and get onto it, yeah. but here's the cool thing. Buttermilk, in actual fact, has got lactic acid in it, and lactic acid reacts to that baking soda, baking powder. Are you following me? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to make notes? Um, <laughs> the thing is, what you do, in actual fact, when those two things combine, they go... Boom. Oh, nice. And that gives it its flow. Oh, it does. does now, it? I haven't yeah, got yeah. a cup measure, so, <laughs> so it's all go. So this is about two cups, and don't worry, for goodness sake, I've never tasted sweet butter. It. Oh, try it. Now, if you go hiking in Austria, you go yeah. up to the mountains, you're going to leave. Oh, that's a bit much. I know, sorry. But don't worry, you can put it, oh, you look away, oh, look at that, on national TV. <laughs> how, how is that for you? Was it as good for you as it was for me? I'm telling you, honestly, throw this into mashed potatoes. It makes Raj just keep licking, baby. That is quite okay. nice. Now, no, I just, I'm worried this is going to look really bad is, on TV. This is why I don't get invited back to the cafe that often, because chaos reigns. Mm. But we're going to add, we're going to add like about three tablespoons of melted butter. Make sure it's cooled, because we're going to now add the eggs. Now, if you add eggs and hot butter, you get scrambled eggs, and you don't want that. So throw those bad boys in there. Yep. And we need two teaspoons of oil, throw that in there, and we just mix this together. Now, into those... Into those dried ingredients, Mark has very, very expertly put a little bit of lemon zest. That's actually quite critical. Quite oh, it is lovely. critical, oh, yes. yes. Got to have your zest. zest. Now, here's the interesting thing. So far you think, I can't believe this old girl's in the kitchen with those two fabulous men and she hasn't told me anything new except that buttermilk is 
firm. Oh, no, you've, you've told us this. a lot. Watch this. Okay, watch cool, this. we're watching, is that, watching. Is that a hint to me to not talk so much? No. I don't know. Now, <laughs> Keep this, going, is love. this may be quite surprising, and this is the sort of tips mm -hmm. I give at the food show in Wellington at the end of the week, because baking is all about sharing the love. Oh, now, nice. Now, you may not believe this, but this is what makes these pancakes sensational. Yes, they've got the buttermilk, yes. but a couple of tablespoons of sour cream. Mm. That, oh, add yeah. that. Whisk, whisk that away. I'm too excited. Am I too excited now to we're, do it? Now we're talking. Now, this I heard is a rumor. You're just... Well, you what what, what only... rumour about me? Oh, well, what have you heard? I'll, I'll I deny everything. Yeah. <laughs> I was in New Plymouth at the time. <laughs> You're the only person that's been to the food show in Wellington ever since it started. I know, I know. Every single one. I know, and I had a stalker. I used to have a guy who used to come on a bicycle with a headlamp and clean underwear in his backpack. But I used to have to tell him <laughs> where to be and when. And it was really, if you're going to be a stalker, at least do a bit better job. Well, at least now, you had clean underpants. Seated. Yeah, how did I know that? We need oh. a hole in the centre, darling. Now, I Okay, when so we add the liquid to the dry ingredients, for goodness sake, slow, gentle, sweetheart, gentle. Think, think, think that you're in the, you're, you're, think of romance, okay? Uh, slow, gentle. <laughs> no, not if you go too fast, you actually tighten the whole thing up and it's not lovely. Oh, and for you those sound of you, just like Mark's uh, wife, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but if you want to make even better pancakes, if you're thinking, oh, well, I've learned a bit from Annabelle, but I want to make them poof up even more, what you can do is when you notice when he put the eggs into the mix, you can separate the yolks and the whites if you've got time. Whip yeah. up the whites mm. and mix the yolks, put the yolks in, and then fold in the whites a little bit first. And then a lot more. Bring it on. Now that's enough, darling. Don't overwork it. Okay. Because, oh, we want it to be delicate. But you're a top chef. You know that. This but is I'm, looking good. This is looking good. And the bacon's looking good. We're going to stop here. Oh, it's all right if we stop here. Oh, do I have to? Yeah, no, we'll come back. We'll definitely come back because there's so much more to talk about. And, of course, if you want this recipe or any others you see on the cafe, just go to our website. I'll look after the baking. We'll keep mixing away here and we'll show you the second part of this straight after we catch up with Holly. Everything in moderation. <laughs> and you've told us. You've told us the benefits of this. You said that looking at me. I'm telling you right now. Oh, but these look delicious. The bacon, are you happy listen, with that? So crank up the heat there, darling. Oh, we'll cool. take this beautiful bacon off here yep. like this. You can do all of this and we'll put oh, that, that one back I on? think because we've got, we're limited yeah. for time. Okay, good. Life is short. Eat dessert first. That's what I say. <laughs> but the thing is, the pancakes, here's a little tip with the pancakes. You want to make sure that you put the oil into the pan when mm. the pan is already warm because then you'll use less oil or if you want to use butter. And then you just wait. It's a bit like making pikelets that your granny would have told you. You yes. wait for little bu bubbles. Bu Yes. Oh, sweetheart, you're in charge. I, mm, you're in oh, charge of that. Know, it'll go pear now, shaped here's soon. another tip, because you heard it, heard it here on the show, because we like to give lots of information. This is beautiful, pure, the real deal, Canadian maple syrup, which is Ooh. yum. But here's a little tip, and you'll know this, Mark. You heat the maple syrup just in the microwave, and it's even more luscious for our gorgeous stack. Oh, no, yum. Our reveal is later. Our reveal okay, is yes later. Yes, it is. Oh, that's a good tip. You're good with the, the tips. So warm maple syrup, and I'm going to tell you something else, too. Don't go and buy the other stuff. You really want to make sure that you get the really good deal, because you're not going to use a lot, it's like parmesan cheese. You buy good quality parmesan cheese, you use a little bit, you don't need to use a lot. So, I mean, how often are you going to be eating pancakes? You're not going to be eating pancakes every Daily. morning. Mm. Daily. But now, Mark, <laughs> I'm really pleased to see you're a top chef. You slice them like a chef. It's very important to get them sliced <laughs> like this. <laughs> and now, how are these looking? Well, well, I, I don't know. There. I know. Look, I look how puffy they are. Oh, no, it's it's great. Oh! Oh, all, nice and golden. We, well, sort of. We need a bit more colour. want a bit more? Yeah. We want a bit more colour. But you know what? If someone comes around to your house and says, oh, they're nice, but in actual fact, I wanted something a bit more golden, don't invite them back. <laughs> I, I actually had someone who came around to my house and I served him this, and he sent it back to the kitchen. Oh, rude. Oh, I mean, how bad is that? And do you know what his complaint was? The bacon wasn't crispy enough. <laughs> well, I tell you what, his name's on the refrigerator and his name's got a line through it. He's not oh, coming back. I know, and you would never <laughs> want to be tonight just from your this. house. I just want you to see this. I Come in close. Can the camera get in close? Yes, yes. Because this is a sensational stack of pancakes. Look at it. And the good thing about it, guys, is you can make the mix and it can be in the fridge for a few days and you can, you know, do that the day before or something. But just look at those babies. Oh, so fluffy. I'm telling you, so fluffy, so easy, so simple and pretty. Um, absolutely amazing. Well, the Wellington Food Show was lucky to have you again. Aww. You are going to be a blast. Why, why don't you come along? We could be we could be a twosome. I don't know if you want me in the kitchen after today's performance. <laughs> you had to the, take over. I don't know how the stalker would feel about if you were, you could be true, the other man. True, yeah. true. Uh, no, but really looking forward to that. And uh, what days are you going to be? I'm there on Friday, Friday. and Saturday at 10.30. Okay. And listen, the thing is, lots of spot prizes, yes. lots of interaction, and lots of tips. Mm. So bring a pen and paper, because you know, there's no stopping me. I can't stop. I'm like the ever-ready battery. 
Oh, I know, you are brilliant. Love it. <laughs> and um, Mark's great help in the kitchen too, isn't he? He knows what he's doing. Oh, he's <laughs> fabulous. You both are. I'm really, I'm stuck in the middle here. <laughs> the food show in Wellington is on at the Westpac Stadium from the 11th to the 13th of May. Tickets and info can be found at foodshow.co.nz. Okay, I'm up for some buttermilk pancakes. And they're looking fantastic, you two. You have no idea how delicious these can be. Ooh, Something ooh. as simple as a pancake, mm. and if you just combine it with that bacon and that banana and the maple syrup, she's good to go. So what we're doing here, in actual fact, if you're wondering what we're doing, we're making a stack. Now, I'm not normally into stacks and smears, but when it comes to this creation, oh. it is Fabulous. Now drizzle on the, oh, go, 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 go heavy there, go, good lord, <laughs> heavy, heavy. Now, you may have heard earlier about heating up the syrup. Clearly, I wouldn't have done that to him if he was got hot syrup on, a, on national TV. <laughs> but look at that. that I mean, is that awesome. is magnificent. I mean, how good is that? And if you're cooking for vegetarians, I won't just take the bacon out, but I always love it because one rasher of bacon can go such a long way. Oh, yeah. Oh, bring, it bring it over. Bring it over. Oh, okay. I don't know what you guys are having. This is no, nice. I do. <laughs> you need more syrup, darling. Okay, we'll take the extra. Because truly... Um, <laughs> I have found from my research that people fight over the luscious syrup. That now, looks there you go. amazing. Look at that. Oh, oh. You've got there. You, you're going to be a happy man, aren't yes, you? Yes, I think we'll all be very happy. Happy that you were in today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Annabelle.